So the custom menu. Oh, this is really cool. <clears throat> to use a custom menu, okay, there's two things that can be displayed on a custom menu. So right now here are some custom functions and variables that I've put on it. Or under modes, uh, if I go down to the next row, I can do local labels. So if I'm writing a program, maybe I want my custom menu to show the local label so I can go um, go to this label or something like that. But primarily I'm going to use my custom keys. So to assign something to a custom menu, you would do the shift and then assign and this brings up your catalog. So you can assign a matrix, you can assign a complex variable, assign real variables, you can assign a program. So here's a, a length program. And now I want to know which key to put it to. So there's three rows here. There's that row, second row, third row. So I want to assign this to say key number one and then it leaves the custom menu up i think that's flag 27. so now it shows this program as part of my custom menu now i want to assign maybe a complex variable since maybe i'm going to be recalling that a lot so i assign go to complex assign that to this button in my custom menu. So if I'm doing a lot of calculations, maybe I want to store oh, the speed of light in one of these, or another constant that I'm using all the time, or a conversion factor, then I might store that in a custom menu, and then I can enter in my numbers, maybe recall that, multiply it. Um, it's, a, it's a really neat feature and something that I think I will use a lot.